Hey, what's going on guys? Nefe, welcome back to another video. Today we are going for a nice little country road ride. We're going to take the normal way we you know, normally go. We're not doing anything special. Yeah, so we're going to do our little, a little normally cut, our little normal country route. And I have some news for my channel. Um, I have to let you guys know that this bike is not permanent. It's not going to be a permanent character. We are keeping a 2019 model though. But yeah, guys, we are doing amazing on the channel. We have finally managed to stay above 1,000. I had a bit of a, a bit of a fight the other day. Um, I hit 1,000. I put a video out and I celebrated. And then I woke up the next morning and I was on 999. <laughs> so I had a little like shit. Maybe it's not meant to be a thousand, and then it shot back up to a thousand and twelve over like, over another night. So thank you everybody. Uh, we're back on top, um, but I would never stop making videos. I mean, I'm always going to keep going. But, um, but the whole point of my channel is to just ride different bikes and talk to you guys and give my opinion on it. So this is just another bike in. You know, but a huge amount of bikes that I'm going to be having. I mean, even better news, 10 months and I'll be on an R3. So, we're close. I mean, I've got 10 months to get all my finances in order so I can get a brand new R3. Wait! You've got a pretty big credit score to get yourself a nice new R3. Um, I could get one of the, uh, I think it's the 1998 R6. Um, it's below the 90 horsepower threshold. There you go, let's move over to him. Yeah, it's over, it's under the 90 horsepower threshold so I can restrict it and then maybe accidentally de restrict it somehow. So that's been, that's an option we could take. Oh, turn is coming up quicker than I thought. Ah! Engine brake, go! Yeah! Oh, look at that hay, that could have killed me if I was going quicker. Yeah, if you guys know any solid A2 bikes you think I'd like, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll definitely be looking to find out which A2 bikes you guys think I should get. Because I'd be an open minded next year. I mean, I'd love an R1, but if there's a, a, an R3. Um, if there is something better out there that would give me a bit more speed, power, performance, torque, and so on, then let me know and I'll take a look, see if it's worth getting, you know, to me. Um, yeah. That's the plan anyway, so... I mean, I really don't keep bikes for too long. Um, every bike I've had, I've only had for about six... Um, about a year. So, oh, that bump is horrible. Um, so I had my derby for three months, I think. I had the Yamazaki for six. I and mean, I had the Yamaha for 12. Well, I more had it for 13. Uh, 13 months. And uh, I'm, I don't know how long I'm going to have this for. If someone wants to buy it, then not too long. If not, then I'm more than happy to keep it. And it can be a contributor to the channel, just like the last Yamaha and the Yamazaki. I mean, it's a powerful bike still. I've had 87 out of it so far. Which, 87 is not too bad for 125. And that wasn't even me pushing it like I was in the last video, where I, I hit like 68 mile an hour with gear four. So there is a lot of room to keep going. Which apparently, the fact it can hit that speed is all thanks to the VVA engine, where it can push out more power in higher RPM. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But anyway, I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video. Oh, and if you guys recognise this place, it's because it's where we used to record all the Yamazaki videos. Yeah, if you did enjoy, please do like and please do subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.